Today, we will open the latest set that has changed the meta in Yu-Gi-Oh! completely. Photon Hypernova. What's up, Breaker Army? I'm Cardbreaker. Welcome back to another epic video. Photon Hypernova is finally here. It's time to open up a booster box to see what the hype is all about. But before we get into today's opening, you guys know I've got you with an epic giveaway. Like always, we're giving away this beautiful Dark the Dark Charmer Gloomy. And for a chance to win, make sure you leave a like on today's video. Make sure you guys are a subscriber. Make sure you guys do ring that bell. And let me know your favorite card pull today and your thoughts on Photon Hypernova. Do you think it's a good set for the meta? Is it bad or is it just right? But let's check out our booster box. All right, guys, here is that beautiful Photon Hypernova booster box. We've probably all seen a ton of this opened already, so I really hope you guys are still looking forward to me open up a box for you all. And what I will do, because Heart of the Pack exposed the mapping system with this set, definitely big shout out to you, Heart of the Pack, for doing what you do. We're going to open up the box, shuffle the packs, and be right back. And all of our packs are shuffled, ready to go. Now today is something special. We've got a first time challenger on the channel. Our friend Hotshot Frontier has challenged us to a battle. Definitely go check him out, support his channel. He is almost at 1K subs as well. He does all different type of pack openings, booster box reviews, and dual tips as well. So please go check him out. But as you guys know, we're trying to send him to the Shadow Realm. So let's go break our army. Let's see what we can get today. Let's kick things off. Again, I did try my best to shuffle these up as much as I can. So we are hoping that we do not see the secret rare. Wow, this pack is like impossible to open. Let's go from the bottom. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what was going on there. So maybe this is, has a starlight rare in there, guys. That's what we're, uh, we're hoping to see. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not playing a whole lot of the game right now. So there's not a whole lot of cards that I want to personally collect that other than just the sell off. But we would always love to see a starlight rare, of course. XZ is a line, giant ball game, shell of chaos, and our first card is a humongous hive hegemon Zex Stagger. So here we go, Konami coming up with the crazy names. <laughs> we just we you know we can always rely on them to do that. Let's hope that this next pack isn't okay. That one's definitely not as difficult to open than the first one. You know, I'm I'm a, I'm a strong guy, but I don't want to damage my cards. All right, we've got the giant ball game again. We've got the um something the armor ninja, but that is actually a really cool artwork. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that one. We've got the Chaos Beast. This one does look really cool as well. Light of the Branded. And we've got the Gold Pride. Oh, okay, so yeah, I forgot. The Gold Pride is a new archetype that is in this set. Again, guys, let me know your thoughts. Do you Are you guys playing the game right now? Do you think this set is really as good as it is being hyped up to be? Is it going to be better than Darkwing Blast? Power of the Elements, which, you know, RIP to Tier Elements. But it's very good for the meta, of course, to balance some things out. But now, the Cash Tier had taken over. So Kashtira Overlap, Galaxy 100, Chaos Beast again, and we've got just another Super Rare, unfortunately. Let's go Photon Hypernova, get us something big. Let's pull another Starlight Rare. We have pulled one from Dimension Force from last year. Let's see if we can get us another one today, guys. XZ is a line, Dyna Modo, Mon Mondo, not Modo, Mondo, Chaos Beast, and Ultimate Great Insect. Okay, so given some flashbacks, you know, <laughs> definitely respecting the old cards of the past. So it's cool to see that they're still doing that with a lot of the newer sets. I think it was, uh, oh gosh, what was it? Was it Battle of Chaos? I can't know. It was, uh, I think it was Dimension Force nope. that had the Power Tool Braver Dragon retrain in there. So that was really cool. You know, I do like Konami still doing that. We've got the Photon Emperor, Intimidating One, Summonite, and just the Super Rare guys. We're really not hitting any of the big cards yet. So I must have shuffled all of the good ones either to the very middle or the very end. Either way, I am very happy that we're not pulling our secrets and everything right off the bat. Photon, Emperor, Cash Tira, Overlap again, Abyss Actor, Bestial Baldrake. I know this card was kind of expensive when it first came out. I think it's dropped a good bit now. We've got the Galaxy Photon Dragon. I don't think that's the one that you want to see. It's a lot of the Cash Tira cards that we're really looking out for, so I'll put that one up there. That That's a little unfortunate. We're hoping that's not going to be the, the, you know, the, the note of this box, so we really want to hope to see... Some of those bigger secret rares, some of the cash tier ones, of course. We've got the Geo, the Gravity Ninja. Hope I'm pronouncing that one right. Evil Eyes Unleashed, Numeron Creation. We're seeing some new ones. We've got Gishki Support. And is the Gold Pride Captain Carry. So this one actually does come as a Starlight Rare, which looks really nice. I don't know how good the Gold Pride cards are. I think I quickly read them the other day. And it seems like they might blend well with the old Dinomorphia. Is that is that right? I'm really not sure, guys. You definitely need to let me know down below. We're working through our left stack of packs. So far, we've got one Ultra 
and one secret. We're hoping that all of our secrets are not on this left side. We're hoping we can at least get one on the right side. Light of the Branded, Scareclaw, Kashtira. It's so weird that <laughs> we've got one archetype and then the other blended together. The Armor Ninja again, and is the Pharaonic Advent. That looks really cool, guys. I, I don't care what you say. I you definitely appreciate even some of the commons that Konami does for these newer cards. I will always love and appreciate commons and rares. This, even back to the original ones, some of them look a little bit goofy, but a lot of the newer ones do look really nice too. We've got the giant ball game again, Shell of Chaos, Gravity Ninja, Evil Eyes, and is the Dogmatica Albazoa. This is another one. I saw this card. I think it was a teaser from like the Japanese sets, and just really like the artwork again. Konami is, is really hitting the ball out of the park with a lot of these ultra rare, super rares, especially the ones that aren't really that sought after. I think what's kind of carrying them is the artwork, of course. Uh-oh, we've got some damage. Hopefully our hit doesn't have any damage. Looks like it's just that one in the back. Meteor Rush, we've got the Land Flipping, Branded Befallen, Kashtira, Scareclaw, and is the Tri Brigade Arms, Bucephalus II, also comes as a Starlet Rare. Okay, guys, what's going on now? We want to see some of the good cards, all of the Kashtira ones. You know, it's really funny because you think Photon Hypernova, oh, cool, we're going to get a lot of Galaxy Eyes, Photon Support, stuff like that. No, it's all just Kashtira for the most part. But well, at least that's good stuff. You know, there is some Photon Dragon Supports, another one of these Albazoas. There is, a, you know, a little bit of support in there, but that's not really what's driving this set. It's mostly, you know, of course, the Kashtira cards that are just really taking over the meta right now. But we are on the last pack of the left side, you know, quote unquote left side, because I did. I mixed these things up really well. Branded Befallen, Land Flipping, and is the Ultimate Great Insect. Really like that card. I wonder how well it would blend with, like, Great Moth, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, and all that stuff. But here we go. We are on to the right side of our packs. We are hoping that we can see a Starlight Rare today. Can we get another Starlight Rare, guys? From the newest Photon Hypernova. Gish Key, we've got the Branded Befallen, Meteor Rush, and it is the Dimensional Allotrope Varus. Again, pretty nice artwork, guys. But that's not what we want to see. We want to see some of those big secret rares. Photon Hypernova so far isn't really motivating me to buy some more of this set. Not that I'm super intrigued on buying some more, you know, if anything, I'll probably grab like one of the Starlights later on after the price kind of settles. Uh, but other than that, it's, I, I'll just, I'll wait on some cards, of course, just because I am not really playing all that much right now. Dogmatica Matrix, I actually really like that they're still continuing with the lore for the branded Dogmatica. It's just, it's really nice. See Konami kind of finishing that one out. We're going to save that pack because that one actually opened up really easily. We've got the Light of the Branded, Abyss Script, Gishki Grimness, Kashira Overlap, and it is, what is this one? Uh, Orph Bull, the Harmonious Bullfighter Bard. Okay. Ooh. Konami, we gotta talk, my friends. <laughs> we have gotta talk. I, I don't understand why, oh, that's actually really nice artwork. I don't understand why we're making these cards so difficult to pronounce. Like, it's supposed to be a children's card game, and... Maybe I'm wrong for saying this, but I'm as an adult cannot pronounce some of these cards. Granted, give me some time and I will be able to do it, but <laughs> it's just crazy. Dynamondo, we've got the Gravity Ninja again, Abyss Script, and is another Ultimate Great Insect. Okay, we've got a playset of that one now, and look at the like quality control. Super off-center from top to bottom. It's not looking good, guys. It's really not looking good. Konami, you know, I get that you want to pump out these sets and give us some more content, but at the same time, you know, don't sacrifice the quality just to give us some more stuff. Gigantic Thundercross, we've got the Armor Ninja again, and is the Pharaonic Advent again, guys. We're getting down to the very end of our box. I hope that my guy Hotshot Frontier is doing well, but at the same time, I hope we pull some better cards, because as always, this is a booster box battle, and we want to win. Come on, Breaker Army, give us some luck. Core of Chaos, and, um, okay. Beargram, Shelled Emperor of the Forest Crown. I mean, it's it's cool. It's an insect. I, I don't think insects are getting much play, but it looks like it might be a boss monster. 3,400 attack. So we're not hitting any of the good ultra rares. This might be one of the uh, one of the worst box that you could possibly open. But we still have, I think, one more ultra rare to go and one more secret rare and possibly a starlight rare. We've got the Shell of Chaos, Photon Emperor. We've got the Gravity Ninja. And oh, there we go. It is the Cash Tierra Rise Heart. At least one of our ultra rares were good. I think this one's like... 10 bucks or so, give or take. So that's actually, that's actually really awesome. I'm glad that we did get one of the decent ultra rares. 
We're just hoping to pull one of the decent Seekers now, and maybe one of those beautiful Starlights. I actually really want the Mirror Jade. That's the one that I want. I think it was a beautiful looking card when it came out with the Starter Deck or the Structure Deck, but it looks amazing at a Starlight Rare. Cash Tira, Scare Claw, we've got the Abyss Script, and Gigantic Champion Sargus. It does look cool, but that is probably the worst secret rare in this set, guys. Is it like a play on? I think this is very similar to the Therian Kings. Ah, that's a bummer, guys. So we're going to put that up there. So right now, our big chance to beat our guy Hotshot Frontier is if we pull a Starlight Rare. There's a chance. There's still a chance. You can get two secrets and a Starlight Rare. So that's what we're hoping to see. Numeron Creation, Evil Eyes Unleashed, and it is the Plunder Patrol Ship Yord. Three packs left to beat our friend Hotshot. It's not looking good. I, I have a feeling that he might win this battle just because our secrets that we pulled were, <laughs> were not the best. But they're still, they're still decent. I will take that at least. Intimidating One, Gigantic Thundercross, and is the Fairyant, the Circular Sorcerer. So that's an insect card? Oh, fairy, fairy ant. Okay, I guess that kind of makes sense and why it might be an insect card. But still, it is a weird addition. Like, we're getting all this insect support to this to this actual set, but nothing for the galaxy eyes. Like nothing that's like notable, nothing that's really hyping up the deck. At least not that I've seen or noticed or been told of yet. Alright, Chaos Beast, Dynamondo, Bestial Drake, and it is the Evgishki Nermanis. One pack left, guys. Can we finish on some crazy one-pack magic to finish off this battle and beat our guy Hotshot Frontier? We're going to slow roll this one. We're going to do the pack trick. Yes, I know. Blah, 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 blah. If I can get this open. Alrighty, so here we go. We're starting off with some damage on the back of our card. Woohoo! Alright, four from the back to the front. Let's get us a Starlight Rare, guys. Scare... Oh my gosh, look at the quality control. This is so bad. Photon, Time Stop, Cure Elements, we've got the Mental Tuner, Core of Chaos, Numeron Creation, Giant Ball Game, I think this is it, guys. Nope, one more, Diablantis, and no Starlight Rare. It's just another insect, just to mock us some more, <laughs> so they can really put us down into the Shadow Realm. But guys, this was Photon Hypernova. I hope you guys at least enjoyed this booster box. Definitely wasn't the best one that we could have gotten. We're hoping our pulls were slightly better than Hotshot Frontier, but you guys will decide. Let us know down below in the comments and go check out Hotshot Frontier. If you guys are interested in watching some more epic content, make sure you click one of the two videos at the very end. I do hope you guys have a nice day, but have a nice night. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Cardbreaker. I'm out.